Okay, let's provide a solution to this problem. We have x minus 2 to the power of 4 equals 16. Okay, before I proceed from here, there are two ways we can deal with this. But let's use one method for this. We are going to break this 4. So that if I do that, I will have x minus 2 to the power of 2, then the whole of this to the power of 2. And now this is equal to 16, right? Now imagine I take the square root of both sides, x minus 2 to the power of 2. Now the whole of this again to the power of 2. Then we have square root of 16 plus or minus now this square and this square root will go so that we have x minus 2 squared equals plus or minus square root of 4 is square root of 16 is 4 the expansion of this what will it give us do you remember this a minus b to the power of 2 being equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. I believe you remember this, right? So if you do, our a squared is going to be x squared. Then um, minus 2 times a is what? Our x right here. Then multiply again by b, which is 2 right this is going to be 2 times x times 2 right or if you like you can have this in brackets so this again will be added we are going to have b squared which is going to be 2 squared right the expansion of this is giving us this one and that will be equal to plus or minus 4 we still have x squared 2 times x times 2 that will give uh, minus 4x, then we have plus 4 to be equal to plus or minus 4. Here we are having two equations, right? One of the equations, x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 4. I've picked the positive, right? And then the second equation, we have um, x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals minus 4. I've picked the negative as well, so I'm going to deal with this first. From here, this will come to the left. We now have x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4 equals 0. 4 minus 4 is 0, right? So x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. Now, this is still a quadratic equation because of the square and the unknown letter, which is x. So I'm going to bring out x as the common factor. Then here we have x minus here we're going to have 4. We equal, we equate it to 0. Now, this is multiplication so it's either x equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0 so x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0 plus 4 x is 0 or x is equal to 4 therefore we have that x is equal to 0 or 4. Now, this is not the full solution, right? Because we still have that um, equation there, x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals minus 4. So let's solve that very quickly. Okay, so this is what we have. Bring this to the left. We now have x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 4 equals 0 because this negative becomes positive on this side 
x squared minus 4x plus 8 equals 0. Okay, so from here now, what do we do? What do we do? Let's um, solve this using the formula. Our x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2 times a. Okay, our a is 1, b is minus 4, and then our c is equal to plus 8. Now let us substitute this into the formula now. Our x will now be equal to, we have um, minus, right, we have um, minus b, which will now be minus, minus 4, because b is, itself is minus 4, plus or minus, we have um, b squared, which will be minus 4 squared. Now, do not make this mistake. If you do not put this in brackets, you will be wrong. Minus 4 times 1 times 8. This is divided by 2 times 1. Okay. So, x will now be minus 4. Minus minus will become positive. So, we have 4. Plus or minus. Minus 4 squared. That will be minus 4 times minus 4. And that is 16. Then minus 32. 4 times 1 times 8 is 32 divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now, our x from here is 4 plus or minus 16 minus 32 will give us minus 16 again. Then we divide by 2. Okay, x is 4 plus or minus square root of 16. Oh, I didn't write this negative, so multiply by negative 1. Then square root of negative 1, rather, this is over 2. So that from here, our x will now be 4 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is 4. Then square root of negative 1 is i. Remember that we divide by 2. Like this. So that if we go ahead now, our x will be 4 plus 4i over 2 or 4 minus 4i over 2. 2 here we have 2 plus the same 2 there we have 2i. This is x. Look at that. 2 into 4 is 2. 2 into 4 again is 2. Then we have i or 2 minus 2i. Now, let's um, bring the four solutions together. We got x1 before, which is equal to 0. x2, which is equal to 4. x3, which is equal to 2 plus 2i. Then we have x4, which is this, 2 minus 2i. So this right here is the complete solution.